hello, hello! What's up tonight, everyone? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Fine Thursday evening to y'all. Good to see ya, good to see ya, good to see ya! What is up, to Tony? Uh, Insane Hatter, welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big soup cheer for our new subscriber. Lucas Dotto Helix, good to see ya. Best send of this. Leo Stu, Superior, Eternal, Tap Walrus, Ahox Cricket, the Fool of Firmary, Firmaris? Bowersteed, how are you? Good to see you. Oh man, the hair is down. The shades are in my car. I would put them on to go with the hair if I had them here, but uh, but I don't. The hair is down. The glasses are off. Battle of Wits, <laughs> Super Friends, fingers crossed that we win a game. We're going to try. We're going to try. I had to take the hair down for luck. This is the kind of deck that is going to need all the luck we can get to get a Battle of Wits win. <laughs> yes, this deck is insane. Hopefully it works once in a while. Glue and G Garkon, welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big Soup's cheer for our new subscriber, <laughs> Jank Jesus. I, uh, I kind of like that. That's actually a good nickname. Uh, car stream when? Ooh. Uh, I don't know. I'd have to figure out the technology. That would be sweet. Maybe, like, as I'm driving to the airport to go to Vegas, I can figure out a way to, like, stream. Although, I'd probably die. Although, I don't know. I used to open booster boxes while I was driving, which has got to be the least safe and smart thing that you can ever do. Please don't do that. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I just said that. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably illegal in some way. <laughs> At least very dangerous. Uh, Sloth Man. Orsha Delicious. Have you tried a mono land deck? Ooh, we play decks with lots of lands, but not mono lands, I don't think. FMAC, welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big Soup Cheer for our re subscriber. And Zola, welcome you as well. Big Soup Cheer for you. So, today, you got the notification? Oh man, Twitch is actually doing what it's supposed to be doing. Uh, yeah, there was one time. Okay, I, I guess since I'm already telling this story, uh, there was one time. I. I, I was driving, uh, opening booster box, and there was an intersection, and I completely missed it. And then I live in the middle of nowhere, so, like, your odds are pretty good of not hitting another car, but it was, like, a dead end, uh, where, or, like, a T, not a dead end, but it was, like, a T. So I went right through the intersection, but thankfully there was, like, this random, like, turnaround, I don't even know, there wasn't even anything there, just, like, a turnaround area across the road. So I managed to stop before I went down, like, into the ditch and into the trees and die, but, uh, but yeah, I almost got killed uh, <laughs> by being an idiot, really, opening a booster box while I was driving, so <laughs> I think the statute of limitations has run out. This was a long time ago. I've gotten smarter since then. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm smarter than that now. A little bit. A little bit smarter than that. Smart enough not to open booster boxes when I'm driving, so. Uh, anyway, everyone, tonight, we're gonna have fun. I have no idea if this is gonna work. Uh, we're playing Battle of Wits. Battle of Wits Super Friends. As you can see, the deck list is massive. You can't even see all the cards. We got all the sweet planeswalkers. We got a bunch of ramp. We got Battle of Wits. We got tutors. Uh, we got double egg season. I don't know. Something's going to happen. Is it going to work? Are we going to win any games? I have no idea, but we're going to play stuff, and things will happen, and it might be awesome, uh, and it might be horrible, but we'll, we will find out. So, yes, the hair is down at the moment for the sake of for luck. we got to have the golden uh, the golden mane going. Because we're – I should probably put in a Johnny in this deck, even though it would be horrible, just for, just for the memes. <laughs> so that's our plan for tonight. I promised we would do a Battle of Wits stream because I do really want to win with Battle of Wits, so that's our – main goal i mean it would be awesome if the deck did well and we won some matches but main goal get the battle of wits win that is plan number one of this deck so do we have tron uh we do not have tron uh i guess we could although with 258 cards and no way to really assemble it i don't know what the odds are of us finding 
excuse me, uh, of actually finding it. Prismatic Vista, I considered Prismatic Vista. We have all the shocks and fetches. Some five... Ugh. All right, let's do our reminders and talk about this ridiculous pile of cards. We could still make changes. I am open to changes uh, because we got 258 cards in our deck. It's not that hard to add a card if we wanted to. So if you have any wonderful ideas of improving the deck before we start going, uh, just let me know. Uh, yeah, so maybe we'll get a win. Why did you wear the sunglasses? I just felt like wearing the sunglasses. There was no reason. <laughs> I just had them in my house instead of my car. And I was like, huh, maybe I'll wear sunglasses today. And then apparently sunglasses is, is code for either I'm high and trying to hide my eyes or I'm hungover and trying to hide my eyes. At least that's from the YouTube channel. Uh, well, everyone seemed to assume. So, hey, thank you, uh, Clay. Yeah, I got the hair down today. Oh my god, the Victus SC for the 11th month! Welcome back to the Fishbowl, thank you so much for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. The big problem with playing this in paper is shuffling, really. 258 cards, like this is, I mean, this is a, this is a, I actually have a deck here, I never have paper decks. Um, I mean, think about this, this is, this is 60 cards, plus this insert thing. This is 60 cards. That's 60 cards, 258 cards, 6, 12, 18, 24. It's at least four, more than four of these. That is, I mean, you're looking, how do you shuffle that? How in the world do you shuffle a battle with second paper? I have literally no idea. It's also ridiculously expensive, but remember you, you do get like four decks for one. I mean, I guess it's still ridiculously expensive. It's mostly all the fetch lands. Uh, well, I guess also planeswalkers, but mostly fetch lands. So, all right, let's. Oh man, if you quad sleeved, oh, <laughs> the Daniel Wong Battle of Wit stack, that would be the biggest stack in Magic. I, I don't even know if it'd be possible to shuffle. I'm going to miss a Seth main and a Battle of Wit stack. Oh, I'm sorry, Featherall. Well, it'll always be on the replay YouTube. Speaking of that, reminder time, replay YouTube. If you want to look back at any old streams or if you miss some of our glorious battle to win with Battle of Wits, you can always find it on the replay YouTube. Normal YouTube, we've had some sweet stuff lately. We had a really sweet budget magic in Twiddlestorm. We had Against the Odds go up yesterday playing some Liliana's Contract. Krim played the Leyline deck uh, today that a viewer submitted a deck that uh, of one of our stream people I don't know if uh, he's here or not but yeah so uh, so yeah there's uh, some sweet stuff on the YouTube a ton of commander stuff coming up so keep an eye out for that there is going to be some much brewing modern this weekend just tons of YouTube stuff uh, next week though by the way Next week, I'm leaving on Wednesday for GP Vegas, and I'm going to be gone for like 10 days. I'm trying to fill in some of the YouTube stuff, but there will be some streams canceled. I'll be streaming the beginning of the week, uh, like normal, Monday and Tuesday, I believe. Uh, so I will remind you then. But yes, uh, after that, I'm going to be gone for a bit. So uh, otherwise, our sponsor tonight, Card Kingdom. If you're looking for some sweet, sweet new cards from Commander 2019, from Corset 2020, whatever you're looking for, you can snag them at cardkingdom.com, even get a, a Saffron Olive sticker if you're so inclined. Next edition, we'll have to do a hair down, a hair down sticker. Uh, otherwise, merch page, tokens, t-shirts, playbats, good way to support the stream and the channel and the site, donations, they are always appreciated, but certainly not required. $2 or more gets your message read on stream. Uh, Krim is going to be doing stuff, I don't know if he's going to be streaming, Krim always streams uh, on his own channel, so I don't know if they'll be streaming streams uh i don't know if anything will come up from vegas maybe it'll be possible maybe it'll be possible to do a stream from vegas i will have my laptop i'll have to see maybe there'll be a way to do it but mostly yeah the first part the vegas trip so i'm gonna be on 10 days uh, leaving the 21st getting back to 31st and then that's like labor day weekend so it'll be another day or two before i kind of ramp into stuff thank you for the host uh, sergeant court welcome to the fishbowl thank you so much for your subscription big soups here for our new subscriber oh we're definitely making content while we're out there don't worry about that we already announced uh, that we're doing the crossover Commander Clash. We're working on an Oathbreaker gameplay video, something we can't do on Magic Online. I apparently am going to be on stream doing the Modern Mayhem thing on Sunday morning, so that should be interesting. Uh, if you want to start typing up your Seth is cheating, did you see how he messed that up? To post on Reddit, get them ready for Sunday morning when I do Modern Mayhem, because uh, because yeah, I'm sure there will. I'm sure that will happen. I'm already expecting that. 
<laughs> so, so yeah. So I will be like doing stuff from Vegas, but I'll see if I can throw in a, a stream if it's possible. But then after the GP, I'm staying for a few extra days just to do like vacation-y stuff and take a break. So that's going to be fun too. I don't go on vacation very often. So I'm excited to, uh, to go on vacation a little bit, maybe play some poker. I really enjoy poker. Luxac for the 26th month. Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big Soup's cheer for our new subscriber. Yes, I'm already planning on meeting up with Vince, too. We've been talking about it. Uh, Vince, probably better known as the poor man Saffron Olive, according to Professor in today's video. Anyway, oh yeah, I mean, I... I've been doing this for a long time. Internet criticism. I mean, I do listen. I have always tried to listen and be responsive to criticism. But you can call me whatever I want, and yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take it to heart for the most part. That's one of my, one of my uh, superpowers, I guess, in content creation. Dakibo, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big soups cheer for our new subscriber, and we got a donation. And then we'll talk about this deck. Start seeing if we get the battle of wits from. From Eshoop, two dollar donation. Saffron Golden Mane. Clap, 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 clap. <laughs> so I guess that's Saffron Golden Mane. <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty good. Thank you so much, Eshoop. Definitely appreciate it. <laughs> uh, all right. Vince has a better. Oh, Vince has a better beard. Come on now. Is Vince streaming? Go, go back to Vince's stream. Tap Walrus. All right. Our deck tonight. Oh, I don't know if it'll win a game, but we're going to try. We are playing Battle of Wits. I promised a Battle of Wits stream. This is Battle of Wits Super Friends. So if you don't know Battle of Wits, if you got 200 cards in your library or more, at the beginning of your upkeep, you win the game. So step one, we got 258 cards. That means we can draw up to 50-some cards uh, and still win the game on our upkeep with Battle of Wits. So that's one way we could just win the game. Uh, the nice thing about playing Battle of Wits with a million Planeswalkers is a lot of Planeswalkers generate card advantage. So hopefully, by drawing extra cards, we will eventually draw into our Battle of Wits, play our Battle of Wits. We also have Planeswalkers that are good on defense, making blockers, slowing down our opponent, hopefully buying us time to find Battle of Wits. So that's our most important card. We also have Doubling Season, which is kind of like a cheat card with our Planeswalkers. If we get it down and then Planeswalker, we can hopefully ultimate the Planeswalker immediately. So that's kind of cool card number two. The other card I'm really excited to try in this deck is Sisse Weatherly Captain, uh, which lets you pay five mana, one of each color, and you can tutor for a legendary with converted mana cost less than his power put it on the battlefield. So as long as we have at least one other legend on the battlefield, um, or no, so it immediately, since this thing would be a 3-3 three, three because of itself, right? Oh, no, other legendary. So yes, as long as we have at least one other legend, we can start tutoring up three mana planeswalkers, and then as we get more colors of legends, we can just tutor up four mana planeswalkers, five mana planeswalkers, so it's a good way to dig through our deck. I thought about Idyllic Tutor, I decided to go with Mastermind's Acquisition as our main tutor instead. Uh, so Mastermind's Acquisition can get our Battle of Wits, can get whatever planeswalker, can also snake stuff from our side board. Rest in peace in the main deck. For removal, we have Path to Exile, we got Assassin's Trophy, we have a smattering of Wrath, Metal Image, not gonna get us. Wrath of God, Day of Judgment, there's a Damnation somewhere, there's a Terminus somewhere, there's a Cleansing Nova somewhere. So a little bit of everything as far as Wrath. Fellow fellows, welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. Ooh, try refreshing uh, Phoenix. I believe it's still going. Why are there 200... The 258 cards is for Battle of Wits. Uh, otherwise, we got a million Planeswalkers and a million of one and one and two drops to hopefully accelerate us into our Planeswalkers. Birds of Paradise, Elves of Deep Shadow, Land of War Elves, Noble Hierarch, Avacid's Pilgrim, Sylvan Carry Added, Ophanissa, if we have that, our ban is great. Then we just play Planeswalkers. We got Gideons and Narsets. We have Liliatas of multiple varieties. We have three mana Nissa. We have Dovins. We have three mana Teferi. We got Kayas. We got a few Oaths uh, thrown into the deck as well. Ashia. Sahilis, a Melster Pulse, a Karn, which can grab stuff from our uh, our sideboard. We got a mixture of artifacts and non-artifacts. Uh, Veraskas and Kioras and Garricks and Jaces and Kishbatas and Gideons and more Gideons and Tamios and more Teferis and just a lot of Planeswalkers. So that's the plant. Panglacial Worm. Ooh. Hmm. All right. We can, we can, do I have one? All right. Let's add a surprise worm. 259 card battle of wits. 
<laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Deploy the gate watch. I thought about it. I'm afraid it would be too inconsistent. I decided to go with Sise instead. Ah, but I think it could be good. Sahili doesn't. Sahili just makes a bunch of uh, chump blockers. Leyline in the main. I have the rest in pieces in the main. Maybe we should have Leyline too. The thing is. The odds of us actually mulliganing into them are so low. Like, we have a million cards. So what are the chances we're at... We can't just, like, do the... Oh, it's London Mulligans. I can mulligan into my ley line. Genesis Wave. Oath of Nyss is in here. Oath of Nyss is in this big one-drop pile. There is an Oath of Teferi. We have an Oath of Teferi, an Oath of Kaya, an Oath of uh, Liliana. I think are the oaths in the deck. We have another donation. Any other changes we should make before we get into this? Abba Zaba, two dollar donation. Hey Seth, drafting an arena at the moment. Do you typically get greedy and take what you want, or do you take what you need to do better? I ran Grixis Jank with Age of Treasuries, Flood of Tears, Cavalier of Night went three and four, not bad. Basically mid range. Uh, that sounds like the kind of deck that I would draw. Uh, so I mean, I guess it depends. If I'm drafting for fun, I tend to just draft what I like. Uh, over what what I need to do better. Although my goal is to draft what I like and also do well. But that sounds like a sweet deck. Those are some uh, pretty good bobs. So any changes before we get into this? Idyllic Tutor. Do I have an Idyllic Tutor? I have one. All right, I'll put it in. Up to 260 cards. Deploy the Gatewatch. Do I have Deploy the Gatewatch? Ooh, I don't. All right. Well, I'll, I'll get one. I'll get one just for you. I'll get one just for you. Mirror gallery. Actually, um, <laughs> just typing deploy the gate watch into the, into the chat. All right, there we go. We'll get her to play the gate watch. Clear the mind. I don't think we're ever going to, uh, mill ourselves out. Why would you take out Sahili? Can you stake me in poker during the trip? Hmm, I hadn't really thought about that, I guess. I I think I'm a decent poker player. I haven't played as much as I used to. I used to play a lot online, and then they made uh, online poker illegal in New York, because New York, New York is, like, ahead of the times with a lot of things, but for some reason, internet poker, they have a thing against internet poker in New York, so... So that kind of killed it a little bit, and I haven't been able to play as much, but that's part of the reason I'm excited for Vegas is actually get to legally play real poker. All right, we'll get her to play the gay watch. Yoda man, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big soups here for our new subscriber. Oh, uh, is it? Well, I don't know. Like, I think maybe that's true. It's illegal everywhere, but a lot of places you could still, like some states, you could still sign up and play on some of the big online sites. But New York was like, uh, none of the sites would even accept you from New York. I've been reading about... Yeah, VPN makes sense. The problem is, if you're playing real money poker, ideally, eventually, you'll want to, like, cash out or cash in. So just changing your IP address doesn't really do anything because when you're like, oh, like, I would like my money now, <laughs> then then you get into a bit of trouble. What do you do versus Hogak? Hope we draw Rest of Peace and Path to Exile. So, all right, let's give this a shot. Let's give it a shot. 261 cards. Battle of Wits. Let's... Okay. We probably will do a league. Let's do a two-player match first, just to just to see what the deck feels like and make sure we don't want to make any changes. So, like, just one one practice match, essentially, to see to see if it feels okay, and then we can go into the league. Uh, if you, yeah, you have like a Canadian bank account as well. Yeah, I don't have a Canadian bank account. I really think you want a Kethis or two somewhere. Oh, Kethis could be sweet. Yeah, I think it'll happen in, uh... Ooh, Wall of Chaos. Ugh. Let me... Okay, so sorry, Wall of Chaos. I got buried in my email. I will... I will respond right now. Uh... <laughs> what are the chances out of 260 ca cards... We'd have two of the same Planeswalker. It's got to be so low. Do we even keep this? So we have two, two mana confluences, too. We might have to pull up the calculator. Is this, uh, is that good enough? We're on the draw. 
Ooh, Spark Double could be really fun. And I think we, I think we mulligan. Ooh, this, this I like better. Wooded Foothills, oh, this mana. Okay, so Wooded Foothills, what do we put to the bottom? Uh, Stompy Grounds to the bottom. Wooded Foothills can get us a breeding pool for Elves of Deep Shadow, and now we get to play Narset the next turn? Okay, okay, this seems reasonable. Ooh, Vivid Meadow's not bad either. All right, crack this. <laughs> See if Moto will allow us to search. All right, get a breeding pool, untapped, and Elves of Deep Shadow. Pass the turn. I would laugh so hard if you faced a mill deck. Yeah, I hope we face a mill deck. It would be so awesome. Uh, I guess we should go stream mode. There we go. Uh, opponent plays an island. Uh, are we just going to get countered repeatedly? Uh, we have another new donation. Opponent passes. Uh, play Reflecting Pool. Play... Mistap. Uh, we have a new donation from Ned. It says, I would like to help MTG Goldfish with your systems. Let me know how I've DM'd you on Twitter. Ooh, uh, I will, yes, I will respond to you, Ned. Thank you so much for the donation. Um, I will probably have to put you in contact with Richard, since I don't really know anything about the programming side of things. Oh, oh, got him. Oh, got him. Got him, got him, got him. <laughs> Ah, whoo, nice try. We got the right Planeswalker. Uh, that's good news. Well, let's Narset. Oh, man, stack him up, stack him up. Dovin. Oh, oh, we're just hosing Storm. <laughs> Ryusi and the Funky Hobo. Welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big scoops here for our new subscriber. It is, uh, it is Richard at mtgoldfish.com. Hey, what's up, nerd girl? How are you? Good to see ya. Hello, hello. Yeah, so, yeah, message Richard. Uh, that's what I would tell you on Twitter anyway, because I just, I don't know about that side of stuff. Ooh, all right, all right, all right. Well, let's add Dove into the pile, which is also insanely good against Storm. And we have Sisse. This is, it's working. It's working. Narsat. We'll get an Ugin. Opponent says oof. Yes, it is It is oof for you, opponent. Pass the turn. Oh, we drew the right cards. Arc Slogger could be fun with so, many, with so many cards. Oh, scoops it up. Off to a good start. We didn't battle a Witsum, but... <laughs> we drew the right Planeswalkers for the, for the job. <laughs> hey, welcome, uh, Wolfer. Yeah, the deck... This deck is definitely ridiculous. That is for sure. Hopefully it is also fun. You got a good list for Teshar Salvager Sentry combo. Ooh. We played a a Teshar combo deck a while ago, this sideboard. Alright, so Dovin's Veto in. Surgical in. Um Okay. Cuts. <laughs> Does it even matter? Do we even cut anything? I guess we have to. Well, creature removal is dead. It's just absolutely dead. I guess that means we can bring in, like, Tormod, Tormod's Crypts. And then... Uh, Assassin's Trophy does some things. That actually went surprisingly well. All right, let, let's run it back. Maybe we broke it. We broke it! <laughs> Do we not run Wishes? We have Masterminds Acquisition and... Also, Karn to wish from our sideboard. Hmm. This hand's slow. This hand's very slow. Avacyn's Pilgrim, we can Wargate for a land or like a Oath of... We could Wargate for an Oath of Nyssa. Scooter Pole, welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. Ooh, that's better. Okay. I mean, Dovin's good. Dovin is a good one if we get it down in time. We will put Vraska to the bottom. And all right, here we go. I think you have to mulligan purely because Panglacial. Yeah, Panglacial's pretty bad in hand. I'm glad you made it too, Christian Bales. The Carmana, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big Soup's here for our new subscriber. 
Who? Yeah. Sarkin would be good, but we're not really in red is the issue. We draw a Wargate. So, um, Hinterland Arbor, go. We don't have a Mana Dork. We really want a Mana Dork with this deck, but yeah, we need the hair down for luck. Man, my hair is getting so long. Like, look at how long that is. It's really... It is pretty ridiculous. I, like, never wear it out, but... Hey, thank you, Ned. Opponent, sleight of hand, and passes. Well, we will play Flooded Strand past the turn, and next year we get to start playing Planeswalkers. This this might be working. Opponent missing land drops doesn't hurt. Drafted a Gargos on MTGA. Forgot how cool. Yeah, Gargos is really cool. Opponent, tap land, and passing. Uh, we will crack. So let's see, we want... Oh my god, this mana... Double blue. Can we get black white? We can get, uh, we can get godless shrine. Let's get godless shrine. Godless shrine tapped. Untap. Misty. Crack it. Get overgrown overgrown to mean cast everything right oh well, you can't cast the healy but all right get overgrown to untapped start with start with dovin i think dovin's pretty good against storm dovin go oh oh okay well that's not great they had the spell beers Opponent. Are we dead? Yeah, there's a... Okay. Well, we might be dead. They had the spell beers. <sighs> Weird that this list isn't playing Bring Delight. The problem is Bring Delight can't hit any of our stuff. It can't hit... It can't hit uh, Planeswalkers. It can't hit Enchantments. So we can hit like a random removal spell. Wargate, in this instance, I think is better, because we can actually get multiple things. Hmm. Hmm. So we can Liliana tick up. We can get random graveyard hate. Gepharos, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big soups cheer for our new subscriber. Opponent put one card on top. Huh. We can't Assassin's Trophy because of Hexproof. It's either Liliana Uptick or, like, get a Tormod script, I think, or the two, the two options. Uh, we have another new donation. I'm actually, I have no idea which of those is better. Uh, Ellipsis, $5 donation. Gosh, your hair is so pretty. You are beautiful, Seth. Never let anyone tell you otherwise. Well, thank you so much, Ellipsis. And also for the donation. I definitely appreciate it so much. And the kind words. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, smallpox would be a good way to deal with Lotus Field. Trophy of land. Yeah, the land has hexproof, so that doesn't work. Uh, all right. Let's play the fetch. I'm trying to think if there's anything else we can tutor for. Yeah, I guess we just Wargate for Tormod's Crypt. That's not exciting at all. McBurger King, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big Soup's cheer for our new subscriber. Oh, I mean, yeah, I guess that's another option, but then that requires surviving this turn. Liliana plus? I don't know if that really saves us. I mean, okay, we'll go with Liliana. I don't know if making our opponent discard a card is enough, though. We'll take up. We'll discard, I guess, Sahili here. Sahili's not super helpful when we don't need blockers. And, uh, another Lotus Field. Ugh, Liliana didn't do anything. Pass the turn. Are we dead? Oh, man. If we resolve that Dovin, I think we win, but it didn't happen. Peer through depths. Wow. Did they punt? Oh, they did splice. Okay. They punted. They did something wrong. Okay. 
Something weird happened, because they didn't untap their land. Thank you, Logie Bear. Ideas unbound. Splicing. Yeah, we should be dead now. Yeah, Liliana, not enough. Yeah, I think getting Graveyard Heat probably would have been better. Serum Visions for our opponent. Oh, thank you, uh, S. Jamis. Yeah, they can fizzle. The question is, do we want to sit through... Do we want to sit through... Uh, 20 minutes of comboing to see if they fizzle. Maybe we should do a straw poll. I mean, it's not determinant that they win. The question is, how bad is it for the stream to sit here for 20 minutes <laughs> in, in hopes that they maybe possibly could fizzle? I think odds are heavily in favor of them winning, but it's not determinant. I wonder if this is a budget build. It might be. I mean, there's not. It's not the budget build exactly, I guess, because there's still area west, but it's similar. Opponent. Top bottom. One mana. Do they have a twiddle? The other issue is even if we. Oh, all right. All right. They fizzled. They did fizzle. No, they fizzled a lot quicker than I thought. We draw. We draw overgrown too. Well, take up Liliana. Put our opponent to one card. Is there anything we could tutor for? Is there anything we can get here that's relevant? Our Planeswalkers are three mana. We can get Graveyard Hate, I guess. I guess it's Graveyard Hate. Oh. Rest in peace. Rest in peace is pretty good. Yeah, I think we do that. I like that plan. That's better than Tormod script. Well, play a land, crack this. White, black, black, green, blue. We can't quite Panglacial yet. Let's take a another white source. White blue. Yeah, let's take Hollowed Fountain untapped. Wargate. Max value. So Wargate X2. <laughs> Wargate is pretty sweet. Uh, look at all those options. Yeah, I guess it's just rest in peace. Get rest in peace. Nuke the graveyard. It should be hard for our opponent to win with no graveyard, two cards in hand. We actually don't have a Dampig Sphere. Maybe we should have one in our sideboard. Ooh. Well, I mean, ideas unbound with Psycho- Wow, they top deck one of those? Whoo! Whoa! Well, one way or another, our opponent drew the perfect card. Good God. They only had one card in hand, so they had to draw one of those, and that's their, like, two best cards. Oh, they had the puppetry, so they drew ideas unbound. Whew. Can I get a link to the deck list reading from the extension? Uh, yes. If you ever want to see the full deck, just exclamation uh, deck will get you to the link. Yeah, we did uptick and discarded uh, Assassin's Trophy. Whoa, opponent's still... Oh, opponent's done. Opponent's done. Liliana finishes it. Ugin. Well, we'll take up Liliana. Get rid of that puppetry. And... Eh, all right, the fizzle is on. Oh, well, I mean, I'm glad we're winning, but it's a little sad to see a sweet storm deck fizzling off. Play Garrick. And... Now all we need is a... Uh, Oddly, our opponent has so few permanents that Liliana doesn't do anything. <laughs> oh, we got the GGs. All right. I don't think I do anything good from here. Good game. Uh, Yeah, opponent did a bit of fizzling. I'll pass the turn. It is good we didn't scoop all chaos. Very true. I guess maybe the never, the never scoop crowd. Maybe they're correct. Give us a battle of wits. Give us a battle of wits. Um, I'll play Gideon of the Trials. <laughs> Take up Liliana. Dasex, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big, big soups here for our new subscriber opponent, Beer Through Depths. Although, ooh, passing, okay. Yeah, passing flames, graveyard shut down, that's fine. Uh, Emblem Gideon. Eh, 
okay. We'll make a beast. I didn't make a beast because I want to win with Battle of Wits, but now we have Gideon too, so I guess we just uh, we just beat him down. Yeah, this is my list, uh, Red Terex. It is definitely janky. And ridiculously expensive because there's so many cards. Oh, one, two, three, one. Oh, we're a land short. Oh, we're so close. So close to Battle of Wits. Like, ridiculously close. Go to combat. Attack. Oh. Hit our opponent. To 13. Alright. Tap. Green. White. Untap. It is the hair down stream. Blue. So we can Wargate for four? But we need one more for Battle of Wits. What can we find for four? We gotta be able to hit something sweet. Wargate for four. Oh, so many options. Um, Yeah, let's just take Narsat. That's also good against Storm. Take up Liliana. <laughs> oh, we're having fun. We're having fun tonight, Kiramanic. How are you? Narsat. Battle of Wits. Find us our Battle of Wits. Pona says that'll, that'll finally do it. And scoops it up. Well, do we change anything? 1-0? We're 1-0 with Battle of Wits. Uh, okay. Do we change anything before we jump into our league? That was our test game. And it went surprisingly well. I mean, it might be good running or a good matchup, but... I was worried we wouldn't win a match, and we started off with a with a win already. Yeah, Lotus Field is like the new Hot Storm deck. Twiddle Storm. If MTG is rock, paper, scissors, what archetype beats what? Uh, so normally, normally it is aggro beats control, and then control, aggro beats control, control beats uh, combo, and combo beats aggro, I think. I hope I said that right. Spark double. Spark double does seem kind of fun. Do I have a spark double? Brain Delight doesn't get any of the stuff we want. I, I will show you. Uh, Brain Delight. The problem with Brain Delight is it hits instant sorceries or creatures. So we can't get our planeswalkers. We can't get our enchantments. So it's actually kind of kind of rough. All right, let's let's go. Let's go. Let's try it. We'll add the spark double up to 262 and we will give it our best shot. <laughs> I feel good that we won a game. We didn't get the battle of wits win, but we did get a win-win. So that's that's something. Ooh, yeah. Actually, yes. Before we should add a damping sphere to the sideboard. That that was something we did want to do. Uh, damping sphere in. Um. Yeah, we can go one Tormod script, I guess. All right. All right. Now it's time for the league. We got our damping sphere. Now we're good to go. All right. Let's do a battle of wits. Taylor Jones for the two year. He's up. I can't wait to meet you in Vegas as well. Welcome back to the Fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big Soup's here for our new subscriber. What is Wild Research? Wild Research. Three man enchantment. I guess I can put it on screen. Three man enchantment. Search your library for enchantment. Reveal it. Put it in your hand. Discard a card. At random. Search for an instant. Why do we never play this? This seems like a... That seems like a insane commander card why do i not play that in like every chess guy commander deck that seems busted that seems really good uh liquid metals to go with our karn if we draw it ew okay well we have oath of nissa so we will keep based on the strength of oath of nissa terminus we're gonna need to hit like a jace or something to put it on top of our deck but eh? Oath gets us our uh, gets a land hopefully, and also makes our mana perfect for the rest of the game. 
We'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. Uh, Wild Research was the card. It actually seems very powerful. It's not legal in modern. Unexpected results could be okay. Although we have a lot of like three mana planeswalkers and one mana things, so we might need a a more critical mass of expensive stuff to make it work. Well, Ovanissa, step one. What do we find? We mostly just want to land. Ooh. Hmm. Carry added's interesting. Is that better than a land? It might be. Unless our opponent has discard, then we're sad. Eh, all right. We'll take we'll take carry added. Hope we don't get thought seized. Pass the dirt. Terminus is also pretty decent against Hogak if they don't have a sack outlet. Put everything on the bottom. Yeah, for Commander. For Commander, I was talking about. Cavern of Souls. All right, humans. Well, we'll see. Opponent has the Vial. Humans versus Planeswalkers. Godless Ride. Untapped. Down to 16, unfortunately. Sylvan Carry added. Pass the turn. We need more lands. Jay Zoller with the gift sub to MTG Nerd Girl. Uh, thank you to Jay Zoller for the gift sub. And welcome, streamer extraordinaire MTG Nerd Girl to the fishbowl. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Opponent, taking up the vial. Yeah, Leliana should be good. Terminus will be great if we get to it. Kishmana sweet too. Just like looting. I mean, our hand is actually pretty good if we can deploy it. Did I see the new leaked Rowan Kenneth? Wait, Rowan Kenneth leaked? I did not see that. When uh, when did this happen? Uh, opponents going off, going off. Yeah, I haven't seen it anywhere. Are you sure it's not fake? It sounds like something that could be faked. Opponents growing the dorks, growing the dorks. And passes we draw noble hierarch hmm awkward 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 i think they put cavern on wizard as a troll maybe Uh, well, if you have a link, put the link in the chat. I haven't, I have not seen it. Uh, there's only one league now, but it is a league. Yeah, I mean, I guess Liliana minus is all we can do. It's not great, but it's better than nothing. It would have been nice if our opponent only had one creature last turn instead of the, the wombo combo. All right, pass the turn. Oh, yeah, that could be. Deputy detention makes sense. Well, we've dealt with the threat. We need lands, though. If we can get to, like, Sorens and start taking up, get to Kishmanas, get to Oath of Deferi, I think we can be okay. But we're going to have to get there soon, because humans can put a lot of pressure on the board. All right, Noble Hierarch, growing the dorks. Oh, Interesting. Rowan, Intrepid Spark Mage. I assume that that's a Planeswalker deck, Planeswalker. Power level looks pretty Planeswalker deck-ish. Opponent gets in, kills Liliana. Yup. Come on, land off the top. That works. City of Brass. Well. Play... Yeah, play Kazmina. Take a damage. Take down. Mega Dork. Loot. Discard. Hmm. 
And we'll discard Sahili. Pass the dirt. <laughs> Looking like Techno Jesus. Well, thank you. I'll take that. Bonnet Vile's in. Something. Something's bad for us. Aye, another Thalia's Lieutenant. We were hoping to get to this uh, to this Terminus, but it's looking like we might be dead before we get to that point. Opponent's two cards in hand. They have a 6-6 six, six champion of the Parish. We are holding on. We are holding on by a thread. Opponent. Hey, Seth, I sent you an email regarding MTG artwork. Didn't want to nag, but the deadline for the auction is ending soonish. Oh, thank you, uh, Ogmark. Yeah, I, I did see that. I didn't re Oh. I didn't respond yet. I should have. Thank you so much to uh, for pointing that out to me, opponent. Deputy detention takes her thing. More, just keeps going. Meddling mage. Well, that seems unlikely to be relevant. I mean, it's a two-two, which is relevant, but. Oh, we're not going to get to this Terminus. Name's Liliana, grows the dorks. Yup. Ugh. And Aether Vial. So our opponent's out of cards, but I'm not sure if we can stabilize long enough. Opponent hitting Kashmina, hitting our face. All right. Down to eight. Not a high life total. We untap. That is a land. Okay, we gotta think about this. The way we win is Terminus. That's how we can win this game. So we shock ourselves. We shock ourselves to six. Ping ourselves to five. Play Soren, play Noble High Arc. We block here. We go back up to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're dead. <sighs> Shockland, Soren, no High Arc. Potentially leaves us without being able to. To Terminus next turn, though. Well, if we tap carry added. To play Soren and Noble Hierarch, we'd have to tap carry added. Alright. Ugh. Yeah. Six. Five, Soren. Take up Soren. Block, block. All right. In theory, this keeps us alive. And then if we top deck a land, we get to sweep the board. All right. Let's see what you got, opponent. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Ooh. Oh, well... The problem with Oath is it doesn't put Kishmana back to our end step, right? So we wouldn't be able to activate it until the next turn. What does our opponent find? It's a land that is a redraw land. Sacks a land. Oh man, this is close. This is close. Opponent. Combat. Everything at our face. So we block here, we block here. One, two, three, four. Yep. Drop to two. Come on, Narset. Hmm.
So does this mean we're dead anyways? Probably. Ugh. Play Narset. Oh, we really needed to land there. Take down Narset. Block, yeah, now we're dead. Wow, that was close. We needed a land. Oh, if we drew a land, we would have won. Oh, that was that was a little sad. A little bit sad to not be able to hit the land. Well, we were close against a very solid human start. We just didn't really hit our... We didn't hit the lands. That is the TLDR. Bring in basically whatever to get rid of the rest in pieces. Um... Oh, so close. Something like that. Oath doesn't do anything there, though. Unfortunately. Hmm. This is painful. I think we keep this. Birds. Hopefully we draw land. For a turn two planeswalker. Do we keep that? Yeah, we can get bridge from our sideboard with Karn, ideally. Should have played Oath, double vampire token, untapped carry added. I think we were still dead in that scenario. N uh, Naya's song, eh? Ooh, that looks fun. Naya tokens. Naya kind of aggro. That looks sweet. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna keep. I mean, hopefully we hit a land, but with double with double mana dorks, we got a shot, and Mastermind's acquisition can potentially get us a wrath. I think this is a pretty high upside hand. Humans doesn't have that much removal to kill our birds of paradise. If we draw land next turn, it's great. We just immediately get down a Planeswalker. And if we don't, at least we can play another Mana Dork and then get down a Planeswalker next turn. Land, you. Don't want to Wrath your mana. Well, I mean, once we get a Planeswalker or two down, we're pretty okay with Wrathing. Ziggurat for our opponent. And the Noblest of Hierarchs. Give us a land. Kaya. All right. Well, we're doing it the hard way. Elves a deep shadow. Pass the turn. Ay, we wanted the land there. Put it. Horizon canopy and Thalia. All right. Land, land, land. Now we really need a land. Opponent gets in, hits us. Oh, boy. Well, that was not great. No lands for us. No lands for us, unfortunately. Oh, it feels so close to being good. Yeah, the magic gods. Need to go up to 120 lands. Yeah, maybe 100 and whatever we have isn't enough. Uh, opponent. Sure. Yeah, I guess this is just over since we missed our land drops and our opponent had Thalia. Well, that's a pretty good mulligan for our opponent. Yeah. Opponent doing some bouncing. I mean, I keep this hand again. I think uh I think it's the the right thing to do. It didn't work out, but can't control not drawing lands and opponent having one of their... Eh, all right. And, yeah, on to match two. <laughs> when I play Arena, I narrate it in your voice. Ooh, that's that's flattering. Thank you. Huh. So what do we learn in round one? I'm a little bit disappointed. I felt like... Uh, 
I felt like we were in that match. Game one, we didn't hit land number four, uh, or we would have won. And then that game, we just got horribly mana screwed. Urfog for the 16th month. Been reading about the new esports setup, but I missed the stream. Do you understand it well enough to explain it? Ay, it is complicated. So basically, how I how I understand it is, you can qualify for things through arena or through paper. They're separate tracks that are kind of related by what you get to at the end. So arena and paper, uh, you when you qualify for stuff. What you're trying to qualify for, for the most part, is the Rivals League, which is like the new second tier of the MPL. And if you can qualify for the Rivals League and do well in the Rivals League, then potentially the next season you can move up into the MPL. So that's kind of so that is kind of the the main system, as far as I can tell. Oh God, this is not going to go well. All right. Well, <laughs> good game. Oh boy. I wonder how many uh I wonder how many bannings there's gonna be in modern. Island for our opponent. We draw Dovin. Well, we got a lot of sweet stuff, but it's just going to get countered and troned, unfortunately. Pass the turn. Oh, uh, I know Hogak will be banned, but I wonder, like, I'm curious, what do you think Modern will be like once Hogak is banned in a couple weeks? I think that's the, maybe the most interesting question. Because while, I mean, Hogak is certainly the root of a lot of our problems. I don't know if it's uh, all of our problems. What do we do here? I guess we mean like Field of Ruin. Uh, Air Force, they said they weren't emergency banning anything. Uh, the next BNR announcement's the 26th, so. Hey, see ya, Doc Doom. Thanks for swinging by. Yeah, we're just going to upkeep Field of Ruin, a Tron land, I guess. Yeah, blow up the mine. Opponent floating some manas. Think Wizard admits they made a huge mistake and bans cards from one of their newest sets. Oh, I think they definitely will. I mean, I think they already admitted that. Mero said on his on his blog already that it was a mistake. So I think uh, I think that they definitely will, and already have to some extent. Whenever I play my brother in paper, I talk like Seth to annoy him. What are you up to about it? Shit the turd. <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad I can help you annoy your family. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. What is our least least powerful planeswalker? We gotta expect condescend. Man, can we pass? Is there any world where we pass to not let our opponent condescend and scry? I don't think so. I think we play Reflecting Pool. You know what? If we're going to run something into a counter, let's just Kazmina. Play Kazmina. Use our mana. See if our opponent even cares. Yeah, that's not great. Condescend, counters it, does her thing. Uh, do you think they knew Hogak was going to be banned before they released it? Oh, I don't think so. I think if they thought it was going to be bannably good, I don't think they would have printed it. Wizards doesn't doesn't want to have to ban cards. Opponent, passing. Hmm. Well, play Polluted Delta. Play... Hmm. Teferi is the one we want most. Yeah, play Teferi. Can pay for a condescend. Could 
Come on. Come on. Resolve. Resolve. It would be very helpful. All right. Well, play Avison's Pilgrim. Take up to Fairy. Now we have Counterspell Protection. Come on, Battle of Wits. Come on, Battle of Wits. The dream is alive against Blue Tron. It is. El Rotato. Welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big Soup's cheer for our resubscriber. Yeah, I was watching uh I was watching Prof's video with Vince today, and I did uh I did hear that. I don't know about banning fetch lands. I think just reprint them. Jeebus and Mandore uh Mandor Mandorani, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big soups cheer for our new subscriber. Opponent is getting close to Tron, which is also scary. Oh, Four out of 249. Crack polluted Delta. They're so good for older formats, though. Opponent cycles a nimble obstructionist. Well, that's annoying. Sure. Passes. Temple Garden. Well, we will tick down to Fairy to draw a card. Reflecting Pool. Play Dovin. Play Reflecting Pool. Play Nissa. I mean, we got Planeswalkers. Uh, pass the turn, but our opponent's just gonna get trod and go off, and then life ends. That's uh, that's the worry. That is the worry. We're taxing them, but I don't know if it's gonna be enough. Oh, uh, we're embracing every planeswalker tonight. <laughs> we have so many, opponent. We got a nice little staxy board until our opponent, like, Tron and then all is dust or something. Then all of our nice little staxy board goes away. Oathbreaker is, like, weird. Oh, oh goodness. Wow. My well, opponent, Tron Land Expedition map off the tippy top of the deck. And now things are, now things are pretty bad again. Life was good for a second, but now life is over, I think. What did Foothills? That doesn't do anything. Well, take up to Fairy. Um, take down Nissa. Or up Nissa. Go to combat. Get in with our Avacyn's Pilgrim. Hit our opponent. <laughs> Scalding Tarn. Uh, we have, like, nice little staxy stuff, but our opponent has 15 mana, so... So it doesn't really... doesn't really matter. Not relevant. Oh, another... Wow, three Tron lands in a row. Opponent went from three lands <laughs> and missing land drops to literally infinite mana, and we scoop it up. All right! Fair and fun. Tron should have been banned several years ago. I think that's what I'm worried about with Hogak, is once... Once Hogak uh, gets banned, it's not like Modern suddenly becomes a fair format. Then we just go back to complaining about all the old stuff. <laughs> so I think that's my concern is like, is it even going to like save the format, quote unquote? Like it'll improve it, but Tron's still busted. In fact, still kills you on turn two. Vizier Remedy still kills you on turn three. Like it's not like... <laughs> It's not like all of a sudden Modern's going to be fair and healthy or something. Um. Hmm. What do we do? Uh, I mean, we'll keep it. The problem is we're up against Tron. So even though this looks like a fine, a fine value hand, 
in reality, we can just be dead on turn three. And then all the value in the world doesn't really help us. Uh, we will take... White, green... Um... Yeah, we'll just take Overground too. Untapped. Play Land of Elves. Pass the turn. Uh, the Victus, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. It makes you pure for our new subscriber. Yeah, that is true. With so many cards, that's why Leyline isn't very good in this deck. Like, we can't really, we can't really mulligan for a Leyline. Um, yeah, let's shock ourselves. Shock ourselves. Play Rest in Peace, which is somewhat relevant against our opponent's deck. They, a lot of times, have... Academy Ruin stuff going on. Hit our opponent. How do you unban stuff and let the format be? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the, the future of Modern holds. I really like Modern Horizons. I saw some people saying Modern Horizons, like, should have never happened. But I think Modern Horizons, I mean, Hogak was broken uh, and not healthy. But I think Modern Horizons overall has been a positive for the format. So I would like to see more Modern Horizons. But maybe it's just the, maybe they got to look towards, like, actual, like, the legacy stuff. Maybe, like, I don't know if keeping legacy and modern separate is even a, a reasonable, wow, that's not great, is even a reasonable thing to consider at this point, because, like, who plays legacy? It's such a niche format at this point. Like, if Force of Will is what's necessary to make modern better, maybe we just print Force of Will, like, even though... It makes modern seem a little bit like legacy. Uh, no shades today, but in the future we will we will shade again. I'm sure. Well, yeah, that kind of slowed us down. Llanowar elves, polluted delta, opponent creeping towards Tron mana. I mean, we might be able to attempt to deploy the Gatewatch next turn into our opponent's counter spells, but still, we might be able to try. Oh, uh, I would love to, Commander Panda. Hopefully it'll happen. Do you think the MH1 Force Cycle is underplayed? Um, I mean, the blue one sees play, and it's good. And then... So the blue one sees play, and it's good. The green one sees a lot of play. The red one is not playable. The white one, eh. I mean, it does see play. Okay, blowing up our land. Are we getting, like, stifled or something? White, blue, green, black. Uh, we will take... Let's take a plains. And then polluted delta gets us a we have the black mana oh this mana something with blue blue and white blue and green does it really matter all right breeding pool sure untap Uh, play Wooded Foothills. We're going to go with Omnixilis because of Condescend. Play Omnixilis. Opponent has Remand. All right. Well, there's a lot of counters in this deck. Get in with Land of War. Uh, opponent. Power Plant. All right. Well, what do we get countered this turn? Opponent passes. Gideon. Well, planner, planner beacon. And yeah, let's let's deploy. I mean, I'm sure whatever we're doing is getting countered, so we might as well deploy the gate watch. And there is reman number two. Well, get it with Lanowar. 
We have not drawn a battle of wits yet. Opponent. Down to 16. I mean, that's part of the challenge of playing 260 cards. Thirst for knowledge. Yeah, this one's pretty over. Well, one thing that the Planeswalker deck and five man enchantment deck does not like is uh is infinite counter spells. Pretty brutal to get oh, it's like such an insane time walk when you just like tap out for a an inexpensive spell and get a remand. Opponent finds the expedition map as Tron is wont to do. And cracks it. Assembles Tron. Gets a Urza's Tower. Has infinite mana. Oh, Tron. Well, opponents discarding a hand size. Sure. Academy Ruins. We draw nothing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, we're going to go for it. I don't have very high hopes of anything we do this game actually mattering, but we're going to try. Deploy the gate watch. What counter do we have this time? Condescend. Okay. Betelwitz is a terrible experience in paper for all parties. Yeah, it definitely seems like a, a difficult paper deck. Get it with Land of War. Oh. So far, this has been kind of a depressing start to our matches. Mana screwed in a match that felt winnable, and then just a unplayable matchup. Oh, Tron. Tron, Tron, Tron. Eh, all right, on to the next one. Well, we knew it might, uh, might be rough record-wise. Still holding out hope. And so far, I feel like bad running in our first game of the league and then just ridiculous matchup in the next game of the league. We won against Twiddlestorm uh, before we started the league. And I feel like we could have beat humans, but it didn't work out with, uh, with a bit of mana screw issues. Yeah, Karn will probably end up having... I don't know if Karn will get banned or Mycosynth Lattice, but if you look through the metagame page on Goldfish... It's uh, it's pretty staggering how many decks just play Karn now. It's not even an archetype staple. It is, like, any deck that makes a lot of mana, that's the primary finisher now. Which, uh, I don't know. It's starting to remind me of, like, Emrakul and Grizzlebrand, where, where they're just so much better than everything else at what their job is that it pushes everything else out of the format. Like, I was thinking about building... Uh, free win red, mono red prison, one of my favorite decks of all time in modern, but, but, and it's just a Karn deck now because Karn is better than Chandra and is better than all the other finishers. So, uh, so it makes me a little bit sad to see diversity get pushed down because Karn is so good. I saw a screenshot. This hand actually looks pretty good. I mean, I don't know what our opponent's doing, but turn one, dork, into Planeswalker, Planeswalker, pla Okay. <laughs> it's Tron again. Tron again, Tron again. Uh, well, let's see. Breeding Pool, Untapped, and Lana War. Ashiok could be decent. Ashiok could be decent. Pass the turn. Yeah, it's a Tron-y kind of league, apparently. <laughs> I think that Brainstorm and Forced Will actually allow diversity in Legacy. Like, sure, you gotta play those cards, but... Our opponent... <laughs> Talking to us outside of chat for some reason. Agent Stirrings with a Urza's Tower. Ah, uh, we played Ponza before. Ponza's sweet. Gets a power plant. And... Passes. 
Well, there's a big jet. Man, like, this hand is insane, but Tron. Oh, could you imagine if we were playing, like, a, a relatively fair deck? Oh, this hand would be so good against just, like, Jund or any, any, like, normal magic deck. This hand would be so sweet. But we'll see what it does against Tron. Um, we will, I guess, Godless Shrine untapped. I think we got to get down Ashiok first to fizzle tutors to find the missing Tron pieces. So get down Ashiok. Eh, might as well mill. Not doing anything else. Maybe we'll mill their finishers. That would be, or exile their finishers. We got rid of a Karn and a Urza's Tower, but they already have Urza's Tower. So pass the turn. Yeah, hopefully our opponent needs needs like expedition maps to assemble Tron power plant okay ancient stirrings and do they find the Tron piece Ugin the spirit dragon well that's gonna be bad once they Tron or if they have Tron Hey, what's up, uh, pineapple, uh, pizza pie apple guy? Say my name, Jeff. Well, sure, Jeff. Hello, hello. Uh, so what's our next technique? They have an Ugin. We gotta hope they don't hit the Tron piece. Narset. I guess it's just, hmm. Teferi, that doesn't really do anything. I guess we could Jason tick up and just hope they don't have it in hand. That's probably our best bet. So let's Ashiok mill some stuff. Er, uh, yup. Get rid of... Eh, nothing super helpful. Pwn's got a lot of relics. Flooded Strand. Crack Flooded Strand. Yeah, I think we just got a face seal. I'm very excited uh, for Vegas Tortured. It should be sweet. Well, run out Jace. And yeah, we're gonna start fate sealing. Try to try to keep our opponent off a of Tron. If they have it in hand, then we're just in trouble. Worm coil. And eh, no, you can draw worm coil. We're fine with that. We can deal with worm coil in multiple ways. Alright, pass the turn. No tron, 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 no tron. Hmm. Well, we did everything we could. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's Tron. They do that every time. <laughs> Exiles everything. And uh, we'll scoop it up. Yeah, Tron isn't fun. I've never enjoyed playing against Tron. And I still think it should not be in modern but i think that london mulligan rule is going to get out of modern honestly uh i would be surprised if it actually does not get banned eventually it's just with london mulligan rule it's so consistent that i think that uh the one like small flaw with the deck was losing to itself sometimes but with london mulligans all of a sudden that's off the table so i do think like it's not like oh it's gonna be banned right now or at the end of the month but i do think the london mulligan rule unless wizards uh unless wizards backtracks and goes back to uh a a different mulligan rule for modern i do think that there's a pretty realistic shot that that happens eventually <laughs> well i mean we got another good hand this hand would be good if uh if we we're playing fair magic but we can't really mulligan for hate cards because our deck is so big. So we just got to cross our fingers. Oh, I'm so sorry, uh, Busy N. That's really hard. Oh, the hair's been down. We need our all the luck we can get to uh, get the Battle of Woods win. Might have to go back up though. Now that we played Tron twice in a row, we might have to we might have to put it back up. Maybe the hair down is attracting Tron players or something. Zephy guy, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big soups cheer for our new subscriber. Expedition map. Yup. 
We draw Flooded Strand. Well, play City of Brass. Play... Play Liliana. Well, come on, Field of Ruins, I guess. <laughs> Liliana's not super good here. Um, Take it up. And pass the turn. Yeah, the hair's pretty long. I always wear it up, so you don't actually get to see it very much. Four is for our opponent, so... Turn four, Tron, rather than turn three. Gets Urza's Tower. And passes. We draw a land. Well, play this, crack this. Hmm. Sarah's emblem doesn't actually do anything either, does it? Do any of our things do things against Tron? Hollowed Fountain, untapped. Play Sarah, I guess. And maybe we just have to make an angel? Like, the emblem... We're gonna lose our board, get our library exiled. Yeah, emblem doesn't do anything, so we'll make a... We'll make a 4-4. Four, four. Go on the beatdowns. Take up our Liliana. I feel like the deck has functioned pretty well, but boy, these matchups have been rough. Yeah, if we could ultimate both of them, it would be sweet. Although, Ulamog would still exile our library. So, it wouldn't actually be drawn. But, in a lot of matchups, it would be sweet. Opponent, Chromatic Sphere. So, Tron with 8 mana coming next turn. We draw a Jace. Really sweet card, but... Hmm. Alright, 1, 2, 3, 4... No reason to face seal here. Man, we've played a lot of cards, but Tron just doesn't care. Let's brainstorm. Put back land, land. Play a land. Take up Liliana. Take up Sarah. Like this, this is turn four. This is turn four. We got three Planeswalkers, a four, four angel, and we're attacking four or five in the air. I mean, that's that's kind of impressive. It's not 8-man on turn 4, Ugin away everything impressive, but it's still, it still is pretty impressive. Dislike when people are not objective about Tron. Interesting. What do you think is objective about Tron? Uh, like, what would your objective take be? My take is, it, with the London Mulligan rule... It makes seven mana on turn three way more often than it doesn't. And I don't know if making seven mana on turn three is healthy. Opponent did not crack the ex expedition map. That does buy us maybe a turn. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, we're not dead yet. We could draw we could draw a field of ruin, I guess. We do get J Straws. So we got a chance because our opponent didn't do that. We're also getting kind of close to Panglacial Worm. Uh, so blue, black. All right, we'll take a white, blue, black, green. Anything. I guess it doesn't matter too much. I guess we want the ability to Assassin's Trophy also. Assassin's Trophy is another good draw. So we get to untap. Nissa. How much can we get in for? 5, 10, 11? So we can get in for 11. Well, I guess we start by brainstorming. Brainstorm with Jace. Come on! Something to interact with Tron. <laughs> spark double, eh? There's our spark double. Uh, So we'll put back Nissa. We'll put back... Sylvan carry added. Scalding Tarn. Crack Scalding Tarn. I mean, our deck's doing cool things. Oh, I'd love to look at your whack deck. Grab an island. Ooh. Mirror Lair. That sounds sweet, too. Lots of sweet decks tonight. Uh, Sarah Emblem with Nyssa is unbeatable to them. 
Uh, they just exile our our library with Uga or with Ulamog, right? I don't think I don't think the emblem is that helpful. So I think we just copy Jace and try to dig for Assassin's Trophy. Miratron looks sweet. That's the kind of Tron deck that I could get behind. <laughs> some uh, some shimmery mirror and mirror uh, mirror progenitor, whatever it is. The whack deck looks good. <clears throat> Sling game lieutenant seems really powerful. Four mana is definitely pushing the top end of the curve, but it's definitely powerful. Uh, yeah, it looks solid. Yeah, we get to keep Anissa. So let's spark double. Spark double on on Jace. I mean, this deck's sweet. We're doing sweet things. Brainstorm with Jace. Yeah, all right. Um, put back Sahili, put back Liliana. Take up Liliana. Play Noble Hierarch. Go to combat. Get in with the Angel. Hit our opponent. I mean, look at our board. Look at our board. I mean, nothing looks good against uh, against Trod. The value of Sahili is against creature decks, where we just get a bunch of chump blockers to protect our our board, our planeswalkers, while we're stalling out and looking for stalling out and looking for uh, our battle of wits. All right, opponent cracks the map. Well, let's see if they have Ugin. If they have Ugin or all is dust, we're pretty pretty in trouble. If they have anything else, we're in the game. Okay, Karn. We're in the game. Karn does not just beat us. It has to get rid of the Liliana. Yup, gets rid of the Liliana. Opponent. But we still have double Jace. How much mana? One, two, three, four, five. So we don't have enough mana to get back the Sarah. I'll play the Flooded Strand. Crack the Flooded Strand. Shuffle away the Sahili. Oh, we're one damage short. Yeah, uh, yeah I guess we can Nissa. Opponent... Yeah, I guess Nissa Nissa probably works. I guess we can I guess we can do that. The land is hasty. Yeah, alright. That you're right. Hasty land does get it done. Well, you know, let's we can still brainstorm. We did all this. We're playing against Ron. We're still gonna brainstorm. Brainstorm with Jace. Trickery! Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big soups here for our new subscriber. Put back stuff. Put back stuff. Kiora, does that do anything? Eh, brainstorm. <gasps> oh! 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 Oh, chat! Oh, chat! What do we do? Oh! We can kill Card in Battle of Wits. Oh! Oh, I think I missed your post, Jason. We got to. We got to do it. We got to. We we got to win. We're trying to win with Battle of Wits. Oh. I mean, if we lose, we lose, right? We could kill with Nissa, but we're Battle of Witsing. Win with Nissa. Oh, but we're a Battle of Wits deck. We have to. We I can't not do it. I can't. We can try to win with we can try to win with Nissa next turn. So put back some stuff. One, two.
One, two, three, four. Play Kiora. We, we have to. We're going for Battle of Wits. That's what we came here for. Take down, draw a card. Play the land. Go to combat. I mean, if we lose, we lose. Hit Karn. Hit our opponent. Cracks. Karn down. All right. All right. The moment of truth. Float our mana. We finally drew it. It's hitting the battlefield. Tron is a deck that has answers. We will see. Battle of Wits. All right. 240 in the library. Let's see. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Can our dreams come true? Opponent's got all the mana, all the mana in the world. They have a lot of answers. They have many. Scoops it up! Oh, we, we, we kind of did it. I think that counts. That's got to count. We played Battle of Wits. Our opponent couldn't deal with it. We had enough cards. They scooped it up. That counts. That counts. Oh, and you wanted to kill Tron with Nyssa. <laughs> yes oh oh man okay well now i like playing tron because as much as i complain about playing against tron when the miracle happens and we actually beat tron especially with battle of wits it does make it it does make it even sweeter when when that happens so all right opponent we witched you we got him <laughs> oh thank you for the cheer of uh hemfu who all right. Uh, well, apparently Battle of Wits better than Tron. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have a we have a spark double in this deck. We spark doubled <laughs> our chase. Uh, uh, ooh, this hand I actually kind of like. Okay, I mean Assassin's Trophy can kill a Tron land. Lana War can ramp us into like Narset, which does fizzle some stuff. There's actually a chance that this hand could work. Opponent. Power plant. Chromatic star. Question's going to be, can we make our mana work? That's the biggest issue. Opponent passes. Oh, that's easy. So breeding pool. This can get white black. All right, so breeding pool untapped. Lana Elves. Go. All right. Let's see it about it. Uh, thank you for the cheer, Helix. What do you guys think of the budget buttered Yarok deck? Just some fun cards that work well together. Ew. Opponent cracks. Well, it looks like Tron is going to be assembled. Relic. Passes. That looks sweet. Conjurer's Cloud did sweet. Ooh, Heartless Summoning. I like it. Spring Bloom grew too. Hmm. I might have to try to build some budget Yarok at some point. I think cards have only been banned for three reasons. Initial bans were, yeah, historic stuff, long turns, excessive power given tournaments. I don't think the Tron's many of those conditions, though it wouldn't surprise me to see it meet it someday. Huh. I would argue that fast mana has been something that has been banned. Like all the rituals. And I, uh, uh, that would be my argument is, is how do you like, how different is Tron than seething songs and rites of flames and all the rituals that were banned? There are cards that essentially allow you to make way more mana than you should by, by normal standards way early in the game. So that would be my, my counter argument. Opponent passes. Yeah. We're probably going to have to trophy. Hmm. Play Mana Confluence. Yeah, we gotta do it. And then play something next turn. Get in. Hit our opponent. Pass the turn. Stop on our opponent's upkeep. 
Cash is in the relic. I think we still have to do it. Green, black. Assassin's Trophy. Gotta fight the fight. Tron land down. Opponent gets a forest. All right, let's follow up. Another forest. Okay, opponent's a minute away from Tron. Oblivion Stone. That'll get to us eventually, but not yet. Opponent passes. Vern Catacombs. So Hollowed Fountain, untapped. We are going to run out Jace. Go digging. See what we can find. Jace. Who? What do we do with Jace? What do we do with Jace? Uh, isn't it better to stop on the draw step? Um, what's the value of Assassin's Trophening on draw step? Yeah, I guess we just tick up. Tick up, target our opponent. Worm Coil. New. No. Our opponent can draw Worm Coil. We are okay with that. Pass the turn. We do want to not lose our entire board to Oblivion Stone, but... Uh, opponent. Passing. Oh, okay. Oh my god, we might beat him. We might be doing it. Um... So, take up Jace. Man, maybe we can just play the landlock game. Are we going to battle the Witztron? Are we winning it? Chromatic Sphere. Opponent can draw it. Censored run Chromatic Sphere. We will play Narset. Take down Narset. Oh, all of our mana dorks. I'll play a land. Get in with Land of War. Okay. Oh, man, I think we're doing it. Opponent down to 18. Yeah, I guess we should have done it draw step then if it's... But do we want them to draw land? Drawing land would probably be a bad thing. Opponent. Chromatic star. Crack that. Crack it. Crack it. Not used to Narsets in modern. Crack it. <laughs> uh, opponent. They're wise. They're wise to our tricks. All right. Crack flooded strad. Grab a, eh, um, white, blue, we need black, black, white, I guess. Take a godless shrine, godless shrine tapped, untap, land, take down Narset. Oh. Oh, 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 Take up Jace. Oh, my God. Opponent cracks a sphere, adds black. Hmm. <laughs> Are we okay with Sylvan Scrying? It's not an immediate land. <sighs> All right, to the bottom. Hinterland Harbor. Battle of Wits. We did it! We did it! <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh man, that makes it all worthwhile. Who? Who? Against Tron, our lifelong nemesis, Battle of Wisdom. <laughs> oh, I turned five. Oh, it's working! It's working! Oh, <laughs> uh, yes! Yes, yes, yes! Got him! <laughs>
<laughs> oh man, I'm happy now. I'm, the hair down worked. I'm so glad I put the hair down. It's, it's all thanks to the hair down. If our hair was up, they would have drawn trod and we would have got wrecked. But hair down, got him. I have this funny Metalwork Colossus deck. Ooh, let me let me see, uh, Quirk Cat. Before we jump into our next round and see if we do some more Battle of Witzing, a quick reminder that the sponsor of our stream is Card Kingdom. And if you're looking for some sweet new Corsa 2020 cards or Commander cards, you can grab them over at cardkingdom.com. Even get a Saffron Olive sticker if you are so inclined. So thank you to them uh, for supporting the shoe. And, all right. Metalwork Colossus, eh? Ooh, looping Metalwork Colossus. So Metalwork Colossus, try to make it cheap. Wait, hmm. I think I'm confused by the, the combo. So Metalwork Colossus, make it cheap with stuff. You cast Colossus, you get a Genesis Chamber trigger. But you have to sack two artifacts. So is it you need two copies of Genesis Chamber and then can loop metal where Colossus is in Aetherflux Reservoir? Is there a list of the artifact deck you played last time in Standard? Ooh, this hand. Uh, we're going to mulligan. I'm tempted. I'm tempted, because if we draw one land, but we're going to be responsible adults. Eh, all right. Um, and the artifact deck that we played last time. I'm sure I have it somewhere. Oh, the mono blue artifact deck? Yes. Here's the link to, uh, the link to that. Hey, <laughs> have a good sleep, uh, your Mito Bobo. Thanks for uh, hanging out. Yeah, we'll keep. We will put... I guess Maelstrom Paltz to the bottom. All right, opponent, what are you up to? I would say not... Ooh. Prismatic Vista. It might be... Might be good, clean, fair magic. Snow-covered planes. Astrolabe. You need a Colossus in hand, one in your graveyard with Genesis Chamber. You can set Colossus and Mirror to get one back from your graveyard to your hand. Play it, make another Mirror. But don't you need two? Oh, so you sack the Colossus. Okay, I see. I see what you're saying. That seems sweet. And then you get to go infinite in a, a bunch of different ways. Um, Yeah, let's just Mana Confluence. Mana Confluence. Noble Hierarch. I don't know what this is. Snow-covered plains is a weird land to play with Astrolabe. Could just be like the Bant Blink style. Ooh. Yeah, I got no idea. Bone it. Lightning Helix it. Oh. It's uh it's Niv Mizzet. It's a Niv Mizzet deck. Alright. The age old battle. Niv Mizzet versus Versus, uh, versus some super friends with battle of wits. All right, we get to play some nice fair magic. Bone it. Birds of paradise. And birds of paradise. I'll crack this. Grab a godless shrine. Tapped. Opponent passes. Hmm. White, black, blue, green. And let's just breeding pool. Untapped. Man, we, our mana base is a little painful today. Play Liliana. Take down Liliana. Get rid of a birds. Pass the turn. Hope that we're not getting got by Niv. Opponent cracks. 
You can finish with either Fox Butter Ordeal or Alter of the Brood. Yeah, that seems cool, Clockwork Cat. I haven't seen that combo before. I like it. That sounds super sweet. Yeah, try to keep them off Niv if we can. We can answer the Niv with Path, but if they draw a bunch of cards, that's when it gets a little worrisome. Uh, opponent. Ooh! All right. That's also worrisome. That gets back the land for Niv, too. Hmm. Uh, play Hinterland Arbor. Play Karn. What do we... Oh, what do we do with it, though, is the question. Yeah, I guess we... I guess we tutor... For... Hmm. Liquid Metal Coating lets us attack the mana. Walking Ballista gets rid of birds and maybe Ren and Six. Ensnaring Bridge could hopefully keep us alive, although eventually they'll draw out of it. Sorceress Byglass shuts down Ren and Six. Yeah, it might just be coding. Oh, we have a lattice, but we don't have the mana to to cast it yet. So I think we just take coding here. Yeah, let's coding. Take the coding, pass the turn, fight the mana. I guess this also could shut down the Renin Six, potentially. Opponent untaps. All right, opponent, what you got? I guess we're taxing their colors a little bit just by having Karn on the battlefield. Gets back Prismatic Vista. Yup. Plays Prismatic Vista. Cracks it. Eh, this feels like a Niv. The question will be, how many cards does our opponent draw? All right, there's the Niv. How many do they hit? Answer is... Dreadbore Codal. Okay, only two. Although one of them kills our Karn, unfortunately. Opponent passing. Oh wait, they got Bring Delight. Nissa. Hmm. Uh, so Brain Delight can get another Niv. They took Kodal? I assume they took Brain Delight. I don't know if there's any way of telling. Oddly. Hmm. Oh, your sub didn't come up. I'm so sorry. A Necrotto. Welcome to the fishbowl. Sometimes Twitch gets bad like that. Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big Soup's here for our new subscriber. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, the game log doesn't say either. It says reveals 10, 10 cards. But it doesn't... It doesn't actually show... You can see it here. It just says reveals 10 cards. It's gotta be Bring to Light. It's gotta be. We're gonna assume it's Bring to Light. Because the other options don't make much sense. So we can eat a land, path the Niv. We can try to get towards Nissa ultimate. That might be even better. Yeah, I think we, let's play Bloodstained Mire, crack Bloodstained Mire. Take a swamp. Play. 
play Nissa. Nissa. Untap a land. Karn. Take up. Pass the turn. All right. Well, we'll see. Opponent can kill one of our Planeswalkers, but hopefully not both. If we can ultimate Nyssa, things are sweet. Because then we get to start drawing cards, and we can just out-card uh, advantage Niv, I think. Opponent, combat. Gets in at Nyssa. Well, we will path the Niv. Get it out of here. Uh, Nissa ultimates immediately, right? Yeah, Nissa ultimates this next turn if it has six loyalty. And now we get to draw a lot of cards. Which you'll find as our battle wins eventually. Is it possible to play this at FNM, or would I just get DQ'd for not being able to shuffle? Uh, I would practice shuffling. I know people have played Battle of Wits at tournaments in the past, so I think that it's possible, but. I don't think judges are big fans of it, and I'm not sure the technicalities, but I know it has been played in tournaments in the past. Opponent gets back a land. Plays Catacombs. Oh, we just want to ultimate this Nyssa. That's all we want. Dreadboar's Nyssa. Interesting. Hmm. Uh, I mean, we got to go for it, right? We go for the lattice, I assume. That's got to be the choice, I think. Yeah, I mean, they could have an answer, but take down Karn. Yes. Lattice, Crack Misty. I mean, we gotta try. Grab a island. And, yeah, just cast Lattice and see. Maybe our opponent's got a sneaky counter or something. Ice Fang Codal. Okay. Crex Catacombs. Okay. So there's Lattice. I mean, this works, right? This works? We got him? Yeah, I, I don't think our opponent thought this through. They stopped our card draw, but at the cost of losing the game... And opponent scoops it up. Whoa! Okay. Uh, opponent just didn't want us to draw cards. Did not want us to draw cards and paid a very high price. Whew. Yeah, the second card would have sealed it. Well, that doesn't happen often in our deck because we have so many cards, but it happened that time and it was pretty sweet. Ooh. My, uh... So every year I do a article ranking the commander decks and, and scoring them on this criteria that we use for a bunch of years now so i know i've asked before what deck is your favorite but i want your guess uh as to what deck with the rankings came out number one so the categories just as a refresher do you see the whole article tonight i'm putting it up early cnc so tonight uh it's like value best commanders best uh of like the face commanders uh land value artifact value non-legendary new cards reprints uh, reprinted commanders out of the box and upgradable so what commander deck do you think came out number one in the ranking also, last year, last year the, the Jun deck got the worst ranking literally in the history of doing it. In several years that we had done the ranking. Uh, and, and it got the worst score in the entire history, which is kind of funny. Because that's what people thought that it was bad, too. 
more for sure populate hogak hogak's not a commander deck lots of morph votes morphs are madness salt eye it seems like salt eye is getting the most votes that would be my guest yeah we got the jesus oh we got the jesus mode for battle of wits and it worked we we took down tron with battle of wits Ooh, good uh good prediction brian okifer I mean, I'm not going to spoil it, but I was curious, uh, just for my own curiosity, how close you all were to uh, to what my conclusion was. Fry Dog Games for the six month wet XO with Naya Glory back in shared it by looking at a local FNM a few weeks. Ooh, awesome. Congratulations. Yeah, it looks like a fun deck. Yeah, this hand is pretty sick. Damn you. Yeah, let's just go for the go for the glory, I guess. Temple Garden. Birds of Paradise. Pass the turn. I mean, maybe that we can just play enough planeswalkers to uh to outvalue Niv. Uh yeah, gamer uh game guy. You can always you can send me a link in the chat or you can email me, saffronall of mtggoldfish.com. I try to respond to everyone, although, as I'm sure people <laughs> can tell you, it sometimes takes me a few days to actually to actually get it done, but that is my goal, is to respond to all emails. I can't promise we'll like play the deck on stream or whatever, but I will definitely I will definitely uh, look at it. Play land festered. I'm going to play my Hogak and Commander on Monday. Yeah, the one time I played Hogak on Commander Clash, it actually felt pretty powerful. Like, it seems like it's fine. And it's kind of funny, like, it seems like that was the goal. Um, when you heard Wizards talking about it, it seems like they were trying to cost it for Commander. But ended up breaking it a smidge in Modern. Um, White, green, white, green. Well, Play the land. I mean, we're just going to play Planeswalker into Planeswalker and see what happens. Crack this. Oh, Jay Zoller. Yes. I guess I never did respond to that. You're right. My apologies. Yeah, I think I think I'm going to I think I'm just going to go with what I got and like the new precons. I feel really nervous about taking people's expensive cards. I just don't trust myself. I I am honored that you trust me, but I would hate to have someone's commander deck and then i i don't know spill something on it have it get lost in my luggage i don't even know so i definitely appreciate the the offer though but the more i thought about it the more i was like oh i just don't know if i want that like responsibility to gp all weekend what if someone like just sneaks up and steals my bag and and then everything is horrible well, let me see game guy don't it hit their land drops passing the turn well, we will continue to cast Planeswalkers and continue to see see what happens. Nugan Forgetron. Opponent passes. Hmm. Vernon Catacombs. Crack Vernon Catacombs. I mean, I guess it's just Karn time get a watery grave untapped play Karn the great creator um yeah take it down get what? And I think we're gonna take Ballista. I like Ballista here. We're not ready for the lock. And if we lose Karn, Lattice, uh, Liquid Metal Coating doesn't do anything. Opponent cracks. I think they might have Lightning Helix, is what my prediction would be. Ooh, Mystic Forge looks pretty sweet uh, in Tron. Definitely a really powerful card. Pwn it. Ooh, Assassin's... That I like. Assassin's Trophy gets us a land. That's good news. 
will take a swamp. Well, if our planeswalker's gonna die, that's how we want it to die. And walking blister looking like a good choice now. Opponent. I mean, this hand is stacked. Brain delight. How many cards do they hit? Niv. Well, we'll see. Glittering Wish, Maelstrom Pulse. That is not a ton. That could have went worse. All right. I mean, Maelstrom Pulse does kill our stuff, but still. Opponent, passing. We draw. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Liliana. That's that's a pretty good draw. <laughs> Crack it. What do you think about Mystic Forge and Kozlek EDH? I think you definitely play it. It's a great source of card advantage for a colorless deck. So I think you play it basically, basically in whatever. If you're playing primarily colorless cards, even if you're hitting two or three a turn, it's so, it's so good. Yeah, Liliana, insane draw here. Can we just take a forest, double black, double blue, double white, double green? Yeah, I'm a little worried of getting too low on life, so let's take a forest. Run out, big ol' Liliana, even with the sweet R. Get rid of the board. Oh, oh, so good. Liliana, yeah, let's, uh, let's each sack some creatures, opponent. <laughs> the deck's kinda working! Pass the turn, and we still have a stacked hand left over. Tamio Teferi, Master by acquisition, to eventually fight our Battle of Wits. Wow, we might be up to two and two, and three and two counting our, our warm-up win. Uh, opponent. Yeah, we gotta mostly worry about the correct mana for non-Planeswalkers when we have Othanissa. But I think we have it covered, pretty much. So what do you think about uh, Anj... Anja's chances of making a legacy. Madness has a lot of good cards to play around. Huh. I'm a little skeptical. I wouldn't say that it's impossible, but I'm kind of skeptical that it'll actually be good enough. Opponent. All right. Glittering Wish. What are they looking for? Wasted Life. Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big soups here for our new subscriber. It's Anya? Well, then spell it like Anya, wizards. <laughs> Dovin. So our opponent got another Niv. Hmm. I think we, I think we Tamio. Play Tamio. Tamio. Um, tap a land. This maybe keeps our opponent from being able to play Niv. They need to have a land to have enough mana. Opponent, untaps. Planeswalkers just keep coming. Uh, I feel like we need to get in more control of the game before we go for Battle of Wits. Renin 6. Because that's like a three-turn plan, and that's a long time in the land of of Nivs. Opponent, Prismatic Vista. Cracks it. Snow-covered forest. To Fairy. Takes it up. All right. Opponent's passing. Windswept Teeth. One, two, three. <sighs> and this can bounce it. All right. Well, in that case, one, two, three, four, five. Big to fairy. Draw. Windswept Teeth. Take up on a land. Pass the turn. Untap a couple lands. Yeah, now that they have Teferi, that just bounces Battle of Wits anyway, so we're even further away from making it work. 
Yeah, it is Battle of Wits. You nailed it. I'm surprised you haven't gotten Hogag. Yeah, me too. We played a lot of Tron. It's going well, Krodos. How are you? Have you ever tried making or Samite Guardian deck? Seems great against Odds Choice. I don't think I have, but it does seem like a sweet against Odds Choice. Ballista, Dovin, minus on Ren. Yeah, we might be getting to that point, opponent. Here they go with the Niv. How many do they get this time is the question. Niv finds. Teferi or Veto? Man, I wish I knew what cards they were getting in hand. I assume it's Dovin's Veto. Could be another Teferi. So not a great hit, but they get to... They get to bounce the Niv at some point if they want to. They should probably do it now. Vernon Catacombs. Cracks it. Maybe we got a tutor for something else. Other than Battle of Wits with this Teferi out. Untap land down to 13. Bounces Astrolabe. Okay. Replays it. Or not. Well, crack one swipe teeth, thin our deck. Grab a land. Untap. Draw with Teferi. Scalding Tarn. Tamio on the Niv. <laughs> okay, uh, we're gonna wait one more turn. We got, we got a plan. We got a plan. Play the land. Oh no, the plan doesn't work. Oh, how does Panglacia work with Teferi? It probably doesn't, right? Yeah, the log doesn't tell you what they've taken. Oh, we were going to pan Glacial, but that plan doesn't actually work. So new plan of some kind. I don't think it's sorcery speed. One, two, three, four. All right, crack this. Yeah, I think we got to wait another turn. Crack this. Grab a land. Uh, maybe we just deal with Niv. Yeah, let's play Dovin. Mastermind's acquisition. I guess now we have a million options. Oh, man. Like, literally. 238 options. We know our opponent has a counter for a non-creature spell, or we assume they do. I think we're going to take Sisse for next turn. And take that on Ren. I guess our biggest concern now might be running out of time. We're playing this really slow. Probably too slow. Yeah, it doesn't say what they've taken with Niv in the log, unfortunately. It lists off all the cards that are revealed, but it doesn't say 
which of them actually go to our opponent's hand. It just says reveals 10 cards and then it goes to the next thing. Yeah, we got the hair down tonight. Opponent to fairy taking it up. Yup. Well, we're not in the worst of shape. Ren in six gets back a land. Uh, opponent. Snow covered planes. Crack snow covered planes. We do got to make sure we don't get burnt out. That would be bad. Opponent, cracks. And tapping, untapping. Oh, this has been an interesting game. I go through way too much shampoo. That is the downside of having a ton of hair. Put it. Passing. Interesting. Okay. Sahili. Well, we will. All right, let's think about this. Scalding Tarn. Crack it. Take stomping grounds. Untap down to eight. Green, black, blue, red, white. And a play Sisse. Which actually seems pretty good here. Activate Sisse. We can get up to five drop. Okay. Options, options. This might force our opponent's hand. We could get our own three mana to fairy to shut down the instant speed stuff. If this resolves, we could also get our oath of to fairy. Yeah, I guess we have a bunch of options. Opponent. Kaya's guile. Okay. So we lose Sisse. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I think we're going to... Hmm. Yeah, I think it's going to be the, the Oath. Or is it? Wait, do we not have it? It's not here? Oh, no. Oh, it's less than. Oh. Oh, that's a lot worse. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Well, now I don't know what to do. And we're, yeah, it's CMC of four, so we couldn't get Oath of the Fairy anyway. Oh, no. Time is the big concern. We're going to run out of time. Oh, my God. Too many options. Yeah, Sissy again slow. I feel like it's too slow here. Jace, Karn, Kaya. I 
I guess Oath of Kai is kind of good. It's not exciting, but it's it's reasonable. Oh, I think... All right. I think we... I think we get Veraska. Get Veraska. Veraska. Kill Ren in six. Draw a card with Teferi. Ugh, under five minutes and we're only in game two. That's not good. Tamio. Tap down Niv. Dovin. Stop the spirit. All right. Pass the turn. Yeah, I don't even know. I think that's fine. We got to win this game, though, because if we don't, we're going to time out. And then we're not going to be able to win game three. So we got to win this one. Uh, why no MTGA? Ah, uh, there's... Oh. There's no no modern on MTGA. That's uh that's the biggest issue. We play a, a mixture. If Arena ever got to the point where it had all the formats, then we'd probably play it even more, but at this point, with it just being standard, there's still there's still very much a purpose for Magic Online. Alright, we got a bunch of Bladeswalkers. Tamio's getting close to ultimate. Jace is creeping close as well. Opponent can bounce and replay Niv. Plays a land. Cracks a land. Snow covered forest. Takes up to fairy. And. I'm surprised they're not bouncing the Niv. Gonna pass? Oh boy. Okay. Opponent passes. On our upkeep. Dreadbore's the Tamio. Alright. We draw Big Jace. Well, draw with Teferi. Play Damnation. Save the board, hopefully. All right, that works. Play Reflecting Pool. Play Sahili. Oh my god, what is going on? Just cast the Sahili. Cast the Sahili. No, what is happening? Oh my god. Oh no, we're gonna time out because of that? Uh, apparently it's because of Oath and Nissa. Apparently that makes it very tricky to cast spells instead of very easy. Okay. Narset, make a servo. We got a pretty impressive array of Bladeswalkers. Take up, sack of land. The problem is we might just be dying here. That's a big issue. Take down Narset. <laughs> Terminus. And, yeah, if they can instant speed bring to light, there's a decent chance that we just die, which is very sad. Untap. Oh. Wow. And we're not going to have time to win game three. Oh. 
Yeah, looks like they hit it. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if there's anything we could have done to not have that happen. Nim is at number 14. Oh, I feel like we'll win this. We would win this match, but we're just we're timing out in a half. Opponent has a ton of cards. We get to untap. All right, pass the turn. So opponent this time drew like ten. One, two, three, four. Yeah, they drew five. Opponent combat. Yeah, they have a burn spell. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Brutal! Brutal, brutal, brutal. All right. Opponent. Bring Delight again. Wow. Wow! This feels like a really good matchup, but we're going to time out. That's such a sad way for this matchup to end. Ah! Uh, you could have killed Teferi with Veraska. That would have helped you a whole lot. Uh, maybe. Maybe we should have went after Teferi there. Yeah, this is a... a yeah. With slow decks like this and slow matchups, timeouts tend to happen on stream, unfortunately. We're going to have to play super fast to have any semblance of a chance of not timing out here. Oh, man. Well, okay. Well, maybe the Magic Gods are just going to have us mulligan into oblivion, and then we can feel better about timing out. Uh, bottom. Bottom, bottom. Here we go. Temple Garden, untapped, and Noblest of High Arcs. Go. All right. I can't really read the chat right now. We got to go We gotta go super fast, and then I will catch the chat after. Opponent, untap land. Also, Birds of Paradise. We draw. Breeding Pool. Well, play Birds of Paradise. Breeding Pool. Tapped. Go to combat. Get into a Noble Hierarch. Hit our opponent. Down two. 17. Uh, opponent. Run and six would be really bad. Really, really bad. What if it fails? Mm, okay. Snow covered mountain. All right. Well, we fought a good fight. <laughs> That's a random six. Mm, boy, vivid marsh go. Yeah, it's going to be turn never big to fairy, unfortunately. Round at six, pretty good. Oh, man. Sad, sad, sad times for Battle of Wits. Well, I guess we'll always have our Tron win and our timeout. Go ahead. Three Magic Fairy is so good. After Hoka gets banned, that'll be the new complaint. There is so much stronger than people think. Ren and Six is pretty busted, too. People are already on the Ren and Six is too good uh, train. Thank you, D. Sanders. Opponent getting back lands. Yup. Plays a Pillar of the Paroons. To Fairy. Oh, opponent's just got the. Opponent's got the, the Nutter Butters over there. Well, I mean, we'll run out the... We'll try to run out to Fairy, but we needed to win quickly if we are going to win. We don't have enough time to win the late game. Thank you for the cheer. Opponent has an Is It Charm. Yeah, all right. Well, that's a, that's a tough, tough way for the dream to die on the Mold of Five, man. Ren and Six 
I gotta stop playing. Uh, I gotta stop playing creatures uh, that have one toughness. I I don't think you play them in modern anymore. Ren and Six just me makes it. S uh, it's an auto lose. So I think I gotta get out of the habit of playing Birds of Paradises and Noble Hierarchs. You just can't really do it. Uh, do I have a girlfriend? I do not currently have a girlfriend to Loru. Yeah, that was that was a depressing one. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe there was something we could have done uh, done differently in game two. And then game three, we were just so far behind on time. Yeah, Chain Whirler doesn't really see much play, but if it did, it would have a similar effect. But yeah, Ren and Six, it's just so good and very punishing against like the Birds of Paradise type decks. I mean, most one toughness creatures die to everything anyway. Uh, the main difference is Ren and Six sits on uh, sits on the battlefield. That's uh, that is the biggest issue. So like. If I play a Birds of Paradise and you Lightning Bolt it, we're both down a card. If I play a Birds of Paradise and you Ren and Six it, it's still sitting out drawing cards, drawing cards. So you're not really down a card at all, but I am. So that's that's how the that's how the there's a difference, I guess. That's the biggest difference. Uh this hand seems fine-ish. See what our opponent's up to. Well, there's our battle of wits. We got a plan! Land go. I mean, maybe we can just ramp into Battle of Wits and win. It seems theoretically possible-ish. Uh, yeah, we played a match before the league as well. Uh, opponent. What do you got, opponent? What do you got? Blood Moon would be very bad. We would need our Oath of Nyssa or some, some mana dorks. Yeah, expecting the kids to eat from... <laughs> <laughs> from battle with super friends is kind of ambitious but we have one with battle of wits that is that is a big takeaway that was our main goal and we did manage to achieve that goal and we might be able to achieve it again like this hand is not that far away from just running out of battle of wits that's carry added next turn we can liliana next turn we mean battle of wits in theory in theory that's a pretty fast battle of wits win We'll see what our opponent's doing, but in theory, that could work. We might be getting it again. Pass the turn. It's funny if you can construct your deck in such a way that the enchantment usually reads, beginning your upkeep, you win the game. Yeah, that is that is the power of Battle of Wits. I mean, it comes with a big... It comes with a big deck-building restriction, obviously. Uh, Lupia said, Shizer, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big soups here for our new subscriber, Piratic Ritual. Four mana. Karn, the great creator. Ugh. So Karn's probably gonna start eating our lands and meaning we never get Battle of Wits online? That's a little sad. Liquid Metal Coating. Hmm. Wow, we were so close. So close to making it work. Oh, play the swamp. Liliana. Take up Liliana. I mean, it would be a good matchup if we weren't getting our lands eaten. It w like we would just almost guaranteed to win the game if we if we weren't losing a land this turn maybe our opponent will decide they need to tutor for an answer to Liliana and open up the window for us to play Battle of Wits that's what our hope is if our opponent's like okay we gotta get a sorcerer spy class to deal with Liliana and doesn't blow up a land then we get to Battle of Wits and then that should be enough scavenger grounds all right, opponent, what's the plan? Liquid metal coating. This looks like your opponent is going to go after our lands. <laughs> no! Oh, they even had to ritual it out. Oh, that is... 
That is sad. Sad, sad days for the Battle of Wits. Hmm. Okay. Slightly less sad. Well, take up Liliana. Discard Ugin. Assassin's Trophy gives us a draw. Yeah, Blood Moon, we're not gonna... We can't very realistically be. But play Polluted Delta. Pass the turn. Stop on our opponent's upkeep. Oh, we got a shot. We got a shot. We got a shot. That Assassin's Trophy really changes the calculation. So, upkeep. Get rid of the Karn. Hope there's not another one. Uh, opponent. I mean, if we don't kill the Karn, they could tutor up something from their sideboard instead of coding. So I think it's risky to not. Uh, opponent. Oh, we just need one more land for this Battle of Wits. We're so close. Come on now. Come on now. Slagstorm. Okay. Well. Well, well, well. Take up Liliana. Discard a land. Play a land. Pass the turn. Oh! Eh, they can't really interact with enchantments. Opponent. Simeon Spirit Guide. Passes. Well, Liliana. We're going for it. Take down. Blood Moon. What? Huh? Yeah, Blood Moon versus... Come on. All right, Blood Moon gone! Crack Wooded Foothills! Oh my god. Oh my god. Grab a forest. Oh, I think we're doing it. I think we got him through the disruption. Verdant Catacombs. Crack it. Oh, boy. <laughs> when the dreams are lived, they're really lived. Get a swamp. And last card in hand, mana to cast it. That is Battle of Wits. Go ahead, opponent. <laughs> 246 in the deck. What do you say about it? What do you say? Can you kill an enchantment this turn? <laughs> oh, it's working! An opponent scoops it up! Okay! Wow! Oh, The scary part is we know there's blood moons. <laughs> oh, that is scary. Well, we'll bring in anything that can deal with artifacts and enchantments. Go down the rest in pieces. Try to fetch out basics if possible and run it back. Run it back and see what happens. Oh, Battlewits, get in the job done. That was pretty good. <laughs> All right.
They could have turned our Battle of Wits into an artifact with liquid metal coating. So that would have been the concern. Uh, yeah, we're not keeping seven lands. Eh, this will keep. I don't know how many basics we can fetch out to play around Blood Moon, but... Yeah, keep it. We will put... Hmm. Yeah, Mastermind's Acquisition to the bottom. Oh, uh, yeah, this deck is hard to fetch out... <laughs> Hard to fetch out uh, too many basics and still have it work is the problem. Oh my god, that's Battle of Wits. Alright, Vern Catacombs go. Wow, maybe we could just jank him out again. It seems possible. The deck is actually, like, kind of better than I would think. Thank you, uh, Rig Flector Mage. I appreciate the kind words. Yeah, I always wear my hair up. This is the, the very rare exception where the hair is down. Desperate ritual. Are we getting mooned? So I mean spirit guide, Karn. Oh. Huh. Okay. Yeah, alright. Alright, that's a turn two card. Liquid Metal Coating has arrived. Well, play Wooded Foothills. Pass the turn. What ways do we have of getting out of this? Land for our opponent. Ritual. <sighs> now we're kind of seeing the downside of the deck where... Where it's hard to find specific cards. We have a lot of redundancy with our Planeswalkers. But that doesn't do much when... When our opponent can just, like, play an unbeatable artifact or a very difficult to beat so the odds of us finding an answer are just super low opponent passes ashiok hmm I'll play Verdant Catacobs. We need to somehow make it another turn. But I'm not sure that we can. Because our opponent can, like, target... Oh, yeah, I don't think it's going to work. Karn is everywhere. Druden, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big Soup's cheer for our new subscriber. Well, crack this... Take a... Yeah, we're one mana short. Take a Temple Garden. Oh, so close! We need to draw Assassin's Trophy, I guess. That's what we need. We need to draw, like, Assassin's Trophy to deal with Karn. Opponent plays a land. Uh, something to kill the Liquid Metal Coating would also work. That's what we're looking for. Our own Karn would be sweet. Opponent. Passing. And. Uh, once it becomes an artifact, we can't activate the abilities because of Karn. So, if it's targeted with liquid metal coating, we can't activate it until end of turn, so then it would be too late afterwards. Alright, opponent's gonna go tutoring. Alright, big draw. Big draw, big draw. 
Walking Ballista. Yep, coming down. Well, we'll see. Opponent passes. We draw. Swamp. All right, crack this. We got to try to find something. We're running out of time. Verdant Catacombs. Get a watery grave. Untapped. Reflecting pool. Play Narsat down to 12. We're also kind of just dying to these creatures. Funny thing is, I don't even really like metal, but take down Narsat. Oh, Mastermind's Acquisition. Pass the turn. Man, we're getting landlocked, though, so we can't get down our Battle of Wits. Yeah, Karn's. Karn's busted. Very strong. Is there a video upload tonight? Uh, there was single scoop this afternoon, one of Crim's videos. Uh, there is not a gameplay video tonight. There's a the my commander deck review article, but that's a that's an article more than a video. Opponent gonna start killing our lands as they're known to do. Yeah. Yeah, Karn's good. Eats our stuff. The problem is Bring Delight doesn't actually hit any of our stuff. Uh, Bring Delight is instant sorceries and creatures. So since we're all planeswalkers and enchantments primarily, Bring Delight doesn't actually hit anything of relevance. Yeah, the standard Leyline deck is pretty funny. That's actually from uh, from the Twitch chat and one of our streams. And then it was designed for best of one. So... I pass it along to Krim, and he used it for the best one series. Definitely a sweet deck, though. I mean, it looked pretty inconsistent, but when it works, it's sweet. Opponent plays a land. We draw. Yeah, too late. Maelstrom Pulse to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, all right. Well, turn two Karn is is pretty good oh yeah this feels like a a weird matchup uh in some sense it's a good matchup <laughs> uh in that our opponent can't really interact with our plan in a very other real sense blood moon beats us karn is super annoying it's really sad to see free win red just be another karn deck it was like a very unique deck but now it's not unique. It's just, oh, I'm another deck that's getting Karn. I feel like like Karn is has ruined Freewind Red, sadly. Uh, two Wraths. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we can't keep it. All right, we'll keep this and see what happens. Maelstrom Pulse is decent-ish. We'll keep. Uh, we will put Gideon to the bottom. The biggest problem is we can't get a basic... We can't get a basic forest, and we really need one. Oh, Scalding Tarn, crack it. Get a breeding pool. Untapped. Run out, Elves of Deep Shadow. Pass the turn. We have an answer to the first Karn, which is nice. Bring the Light can get Maelstrom Pulse, Surgical Wrath, Fracturing Gust. Worst case scenario, just get Mastermind's Acquisition, which is a reasonable fail, uh, fail case. All right, so I guess I can see the argument for. Oh God. Well, that's a rabble master. I can see the argument of it being extra copies of Masterminds Acquisition. 
That that makes some amount of sense. Opponent gets in, hits us. 16. Passes. Well, we're definitely going to have to spend our removal spell on this Rabble Master. So, crack. Get an island. Maelstrom Balls Rabble Master. Pass the turn. All right, we'll see. Pony did spend multiple cards to do that. Pony has Ramanon Bruins. And a Braids or Elves. Yep. Uh, opponent gets in for one. Hits us. Oh, down to thirteen. Passes. Day of Judgment. Well, Arid Mesa. Crack Arid Mesa. Get a Plains. Still very scared of Blood Moon. Blood Moon would get us. Draw some cards. Hey, what's up, Grim? Hmm. We can discard Day of Judgment. Oh, I guess it's Soren because we can't actually cast it. All right, Day of Judgment, Soren. Hope that we can fade a Blood Moon this turn. Although we do have the basics to be able to play Teferi eventually, and Teferi is going to be good. Opponent gets in. Yeah, you came just in time to see us play 262 card Teferi decks, Grim. <laughs> Opponent hits us. 11 has the land oh no hmm well I guess we should have played around second rabble master Opponent. Yeah, 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 yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, hard to expect the second Rabble Master. Why do we fetch a basic island? Uh, so we don't lose to Blood Moon? Opponent passes. Well, let's see what we draw. No scrying. Oh, polluted delta. Crack it. Down to four. Swamp. Oath of Kaya. Go up to seven temporarily. This ramen on Bruin Scavenger Grounds is damaged, though. Okay. Go to seven. Kill Rabble Master. Six, five. Ugh, are we going to get burnt out by ramen on Bruins? This is so close. Uh, we've, played, we've got some wins, and we've played some really close games, Bayesian. That's for sure. It's been sweet. I mean, obviously, we're playing 262 cards, so I don't think it's going to break the format or anything, but it is sweet. And we have got some Battle of Woods wins. We have been getting them. Down to five. Uh, opponent. Chalice on zero? Okay, sure.
chalice on one. Okay, sure. Opponent passes. We untap. No scrying yet. Ooh. Well, play to fairy. Draw a card. We might be in this. We might be in this. We might be back in it. Yeah, we beat Tron somehow with Battle of Wits. Play the Eyelid. Oh, we're hanging on. Pass the turn. Untap. Untap. Because next turn we can Oath of Teferi, blink Oath of Kaya, gain back our life, opponent, Chandra. Well, that's getting vetoed. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I got the Jesus here. Opponent's going to hit us to three, but we got, we got options. We got options. Opponent hits us down to three. And they have this Ramana Bruins, but yeah, Crip showed up at the perfect time for him. We get to scry bonus. Hollow found to the bottom. Oh, oh, that would be the greediest. That would be the greediest. Well, let's... Let's draw a card with Teferi. Llanowar Elves gets countered. Play Oath of Teferi. Blink... Oath of Kaya. Hmm. Oh, what do we do now? Yeah, maybe our more oaths would be good. They're here. They're good at the moment. Tuck a goblin. Yeah, I think that's fine. We're playing towards our battle of wits. Pass the turn. End step. Are we going to close out the stream with the battle of wits kill? It's seeming possible, depending on what our opponent gets. Kill the goblin. Go up to six. Untap a couple lands. All right. All right. Big turn. Huge turn. What do you got, opponent? Two cards. We're at six, opponent, Eidolon, okay. And passes? Oh my god, oh my god, it's gonna happen. I think it's gonna happen. We get to scry. Oh, what a way for it to end! Drought Catacombs to the bottom. Ooh, Karn. Well, draw a card with Teferi. Tuck. Eidolon. Battle of Wits. 239 in the deck. Pass the turn. Untap. <laughs> untap, untap. Go ahead, opponent. Go ahead, opponent. Do you have an answer? <laughs> oh, bonus scoops it up, and we <laughs> oh, we actually won a lot of games with Battle of Wits. The hair down worked. The hair down worked. Uh, it did. So technically, technically, we played one two-player game just to test out the deck and won. Then we went two and three at a league with 
262 card Battle of Wits Super Friends, and we actually got a bunch of Battle of Wits wins. We got at least three or four Battle of Wits wins. Uh, and there was one other game where we kind of like timed out and maybe I punted against the Niv deck. Or maybe, I don't think if there's anything I specifically punted necessarily, but I think I could have played it differently and maybe we would have won. So somehow this deck was like, sort of competitive like weirdly kind of competitive we beat tron we took down twiddle storm and yeah battle of wits uh i guess it's like kind of legit ish uh maybe that's going a little too far being hyperbolic but it worked it worked and we did what we set out to do heading into the stream we knew we were playing battle of wits I didn't know if we were going to win any games at all, but back when you go back to the Mucha Brew, when we played Battle of Wits, we said, basically, we want to win with Battle of Wits, because we didn't win with Battle of Wits with the deck in the Mucha Brew, and we won with Battle of Wits, so we did exactly what we wanted. Taking down Tron, taking down Mono Red Prison, taking down Twiddle Storm, some losses along the way, but still... That was sweet. That was everything I imagined, and I think it's the hair. The hair down. The hair down did it. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Whoo. And I think uh, I think that brings us uh, to the end of our stream for tonight. <laughs> I think that does it. <laughs> we went out on the Battle of Wits win, so reminders. And also, a uh, double reminder, stream next week. I will be here Monday and Tuesday, as far as I know. But um, I'll be gone later in the week. But normal stream Monday and Tuesday, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, not going to be able to mow mirror tonight. We'll try to get in some mow mirroring next week, though, hopefully, before the GP Vegas uh, leaving. So next time, uh, our league went a little longer than usual tonight. Uh, because of Battle of Wits, I guess. We played some grindy matchups. So anyway, everyone, replay YouTube. That's where you find all the old streams, including this one in the future. Normal YouTube. Check out Crim's Leyline video. Pretty spicy. Uh, there is a bunch of Commander stuff going up. Much of Brew is modern this weekend, so tons of stuff coming up on the YouTube. Uh, our sponsor tonight, of course, is Card Kingdom. And if you're looking for some sweet, sweet new Corset 2020 cards, want to pre-order Commander 2019, uh, 2019 you can stag up at CardKingdom.com. Even get a sticker if you're so inclined. Most importantly, thank you to all of you for hanging out with our janky deck, experiencing the Battle of Wits win. Thank you for all the subs and all the donations and just hanging out, being cool, being awesome. Really appreciate it. You all are super amazing. So have a wonderful weekend, whether you're magicking or not magicking, whatever you may be doing. Uh, and yeah, I will see you on Monday for some more fun. So until then, have a great weekend. I love you all. And yeah, see you Monday.